We're in the bowels of Crypto.com Arena, just ahead of this matchup between Notre Dame and De La Salle, and I'm here with Notre Dame star Mercy Miller. Mercy, a chance today to play on the Lakers' home court. Mm -hmm. Just your thoughts on the excitement going into this matchup, knowing you're coming out of this tunnel mm -hmm. in an NBA arena. Yeah, I'm super excited. Uh, it's a great opportunity for me and the team to go out there and play on this NBA floor. Uh, the Crypto Arena, known as Staples before, had a lot of uh, great players and a lot of uh, amazing players I looked up to come through here. So it's just going to be an honor for me to go out there and play on the same court as well. I feel like this is something that I could definitely get used to and uh, it's a place I want to be in the future. A lot of buzz about the 68 points you scored a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts on tonight? Can we get any predictions from you? Just trying to let the game come to yeah, you. I'm, I'm going to go out there let the game come to me, and it's going to be how it is. So, I mean, it's a, it's a great opportunity. I'm just go out there and play the game I love. Hello, everyone. We are here with Mario Lopez. Can you give us a little intro of what you're doing here tonight and what are your expectations? Well, I'm proud to be partnering with the uh, Coastal Catholic uh, Classic. Uh, it's all about having a faith-based education, and they get to show off these great Catholic schools through athletics, and I'm a proud supporter of that. Nice. Mario, Mercer record a few weeks ago for most points in a single game in school history. What expectations do you have out of Mercy Miller here tonight? Oh, it was very impressive. Him and his father together are very impressive, and they're great guys. I had them on the show. That's just how it was recently. It was a lot of fun getting the Paper, paper, He's got a bright future. ...runs the Hangos basketball camp, and you have Mercy Miller. Oh, unlike a lot of guys, he's not flying under the radar for you. So what stands out to you about his game? Well, he's got a great all-around all offensive game, mid-range, from long distance. He's a great playmaker as well. Very underrated by a lot of people in 2024 national class. And what do you expect from him here tonight? I think he'll have another big He's having a great season so far. He'll do very well at Houston for Kelvin Sampson. Prediction. I gotta ask you, my friend. It says Mercy Miller, best kept secret. What does that mean to you? Do you think he's not getting enough national love right now? I think he definitely needs more love from the media, and I think he has a lot of talent that a lot of people overlook. And I think he's a great player. Miller in the post. Backs inside. Oh yes. Good spin. Oh, Miller. Oh. Up counted and the foul. Nice. I mean, that's strength. Him getting in there. Making the moves. Mercy Miller doing the damage from down low. The opening quarter. Miller, 15 foot baseline. With a little one on one basketball right there, he wasn't worried about the help side coming at all. What a tough jumper for him. Drew the double team from the right baseline, but still knocked it in. Miller, guarded by two, kicks to the corner, good pass, and it oh, leads yeah. to an open shot. He's really good with his handles, too. He was able to dish it out with ease. Mercy Miller scoring and distributing here tonight at CryptoArena.com. Angelino Mark across the Laker logo. Here's Miller. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Notre Dame down by six, midway through the second quarter. Three-pointer off the mark. Second chance doesn't go. Miller taps oh, it in. Oh. On the court. An athletic play by Miller. Mark with a nifty move and a finish. Oh, that was nice. He went right to the rim. Miller with two seconds separating the shot and game oh, clock here in the second quarter. Miller strong drive. Gets his own miss and... Oh, way to get it back. Way to get it back. He just snatched it right when they went up. He got it right back. Mercy Miller relentless on the boards tonight. So we're getting ready to do our little taste test of Snoop cereal. We got our honey oat snacks right here. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Okay, because I'm excited because I love cereal. It's actually one of my favorite things to eat at late, late at night. <laughs> we grab a bite here. One bite, everyone knows the rules. Why? Exactly. I love it. Miller with the rebounds. Mercy to the cup. 
Follows the shot again, and he'll go back to the line. Mercy Miller making a living from the charity stripe tonight. See, the thing about him, he doesn't give up. And now he's back on the line. Yeah, he's been killing the boards tonight. Big moment in this game. Notre Dame needs a basket. Miller up top. Knife's inside. Tough angle and the nifty finish. And he's going to drive it every time. That's his game right there. He needs to stick to it right there. That's what he needs to do and contribute to this right now. With Mercy tonight attacking the glass. He's not giving up. Getting a lot of second chance points and going to the free throw line. Making sure that he's getting the rebound and going back up with no hesitation. He's a tough looks. He's not scared to absorb the contact and draw fouls. And he's looking for his teammates. You know, he's able to move the ball accordingly, and he's getting the, he's getting the right passes. Mark on the drive. And it's a one possession game. They need to pick that up. That's what we need to have for the rest of the night, right there. And then they have a chance of coming back. Of course, it's a day LaSalle timeout. And the Notre Dame bench and pumped up. The energy just changed right now. Mark leads the break. No! Putback oh! no! slam! Oh my goodness! What the putback? He sees the court. He always sees the court. Mercy. He to get in there and put it back. He's done it numerous times tonight. Mercy me, what a dunk! That's the highlight of the night. Oh, that was a great putback. I mean, the way that he just went for it and dunked it, it was effortless. Mercy Miller soaring in the room, and that lights up the crowd here at Crypto.com Arena. A massive putback slam, and that woke the crowd up. Oh yeah, that definitely woke the crowd up. Now they're going to come back in here, and it's going to be a different game now. One point game, as we've got two minutes left in the third quarter. Miller. Miller with the rebound. Shot clock unplugged. Miller through traffic back to the line. The way he just pushes that ball, though, I mean, it's great. You know, he knows exactly what to do. There's no hesitation at all. You have to love. And now he's back at the line. Yeah, you have to love the energy, the resiliency, consistently attacking the basket, and that's right. led to quality opportunities from the free throw line. Are you know, 49 to 50. It's because Miller has been able to go. To the line. Miller with the free throw, and that's the first lead today for Notre Dame. The court side before the fourth quarter, Chris Markowitz is alongside Britt Lucio and Britt. A big comeback by Notre Dame in that third quarter. They changed things up and were really aggressive on the offensive side of the floor. I mean, after that putback and the dunk that Mercy was able to do, it changed everything here. The energy, they picked it up on both sides, too. Not just on the offense, but on the defense side as well. You mentioned the dunk by Mercy, a monstrous putback. And he keeps getting to the free throw line. His ability to draw fouls, a big reason why Notre Dame has been able to take this late lead. That seven and a half minutes left to play, Miller. Mid-range jumper, left it short, but gets the follow-up, nice feed, and the finish for Miller. Yes, yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. He's just always able to, even if he's taking a shot and he misses or puts back, he's always looking. He's always ready to go towards the basket, no matter what. Mercy Miller, the lead scorer in tonight's contest. He has been huge. And Miller with a massive rejection. That was big. Mercy Miller looking like LeBron James. And here he is on the other end with the teardrop. On the other end as well. Chase down block to your point defensively and then the layup on the other end. This kid has done it all tonight. The way that Mercy Miller is playing tonight, he's got to get some serious consideration for the McDonald's All-American game. Oh yeah, for sure, hands down. Mercy Miller, one of the best players in the nation and he's playing like that here tonight. 
Miller, aggressive defense here. Miller with the rebounds. Big possession here for Notre Dame. Miller behind the back into the lane and more free throws. Mercy Miller with 28 points and he's got a chance for more from the charity stripe. Taken away by Notre Dame. Miller, good feet ahead. And that leads to an easy layup. Another beautiful feed by Mercy Miller. What a great pass. That's exactly what they needed right now. Miller. And a timeout is called in the nick of time. Big timeout taken there by De La Salle to avoid the steal by Miller. I mean, what great defense. You know, he is just seeing everything that he needs to see right now. 26 left to play. We're even at 58. 44 seconds to play. Here's Miller. Mercy Miller has had the hot hand in the second half. Mid-range jumper, too strong. Gets his own miss. Miller spins. Hook shot, yes! Huge shot by Miller. And they're even at 62 with 27 seconds to play. He's going to bring the energy every time. He's going to get that rebound, and he's going to put it back, and he's going to make it. And now Notre Dame needs this. I mean, that was huge. He just keeps going, no matter what. Mercy Miller with a huge putback to tie the ball game. And now Notre Dame needs a big stop here defensively as De La Salle has the ball. Tie score, 27.8 seconds to go, Britt. Miller has dazzled tonight, over 30 points for him offensively, but this is going to be the biggest defensive possession of the contest for Notre Dame here tonight. Huge possession here. Seven seconds to shoot for De La Salle. This could be the game. Open jumper from the elbow. No good. And a foul is called with .9 seconds left to play. A chance here to win it at the buzzer for Notre Dame. They've got to go the length of the court. The heave. The prayer. Chris Markowitz alongside Britt Lucio here at Crypto.com Arena. Overtime action heading up here, Britt. Regulation wasn't enough to decide this one, and we've got a fun one going in overtime right now. Yes, I'm excited to see what this overtime is going to be all about. I mean, the energy here is amazing, and they are ready. You know, I can imagine how this feels for them right now. Some of these fans have been here all day as well. you got to love the crowd here at yes. Crypto.com Arena <laughs> here supporting the high school basketball here today. Yes, right here on the court where the Lakers and the Clippers play. I mean, can you imagine what these kids are experiencing right now? This is a huge throw. I, I'm thrilled to be here on this court right now, so I'm looking forward to overtime. Oh, yeah, overtime is going to be amazing. The Notre Dame bench really getting into it. They know their team needs to stop cheering down on. Yes, I am loving the support. That's what, exactly what they need right now. And Notre Dame forces a big turnover. Angelino Mark across the logo. Under two minutes to play in overtime. Even 64 apiece. Down low to Miller. Strong hands on the block. Miller, tough turnaround. Yes! That was just amazing. For him to take that shot, that was a tough one. And that may be the biggest basket of the game. Oh, that was just like easy Kobe work right there. I mean, that's Kobe all day. That's his signature. <laughs> Miller from the high post. Miller headed to the free throw line. Another tough take. 37 points for Mercy Miller and a chance for one more here on a huge free throw. Give him 38. I mean, his poise and his form on the free throw line is effortless. Miller with over half of Notre Dame's points tonight. And they are trying to hold on to this two-point lead. Glug that Notre Dame can hold for the final shot of overtime. Huge possession here, and we know exactly where the ball is going. Expect number 25 in white to get it as we've got a timeout here. Notre Dame will talk about it. Chris Markowitz alongside Britt Lucio. Britt, 
No shocker here who the ball is going to go to for Notre Dame. Oh, no. He was ready. He was looking at the ball. He knows it's coming to him. He knows what he has to do. And if he continues to drive like how he's been doing, put the shot back up or get that get to the line, I mean, he knows. That's exactly what he needs to continue doing. 14 seconds left in overtime. And this could be the contest. Here's Miller. Mercy Miller looks like he'll take the final shot. Miller, step back, dribble at the buzzer. No good, but the putback rolls off. And we'll head to a second overtime. There on the sidelines is Corey Smith going into overtime number two, Corey. Crazy game. Mercy with 38 points. What a good life for him here tonight. Me and playing at a great pace. rebound that is just takes so much strength and the determination and he's back on the line Yeah, so they're coming up with a play right now. This is big. 71 to 68. Double overtime. They gotta make the right move because it's getting down to the wire. I think you have to put the ball in Mercy's hands down the stretch here and let him go to work. He's King Kong in it here tonight at Crypto.com. Yeah, he's King Kong in it. He's a beast right now. He's getting all the energy. I mean, how many steals is that? Miller with a brilliant steal. He's doing great on the other end of the court. Huge possession here. Miller faces up. He's ready to go into beast mode. Miller, another rebound. Wow, what a great pass. Mercy. Did he get that rebound? I mean, he's just Superman. Miller, step back. One, three, around the rim and out. 48 seconds left to play. Turnaround jumper. No good. And Notre Dame can hold and take a lot of time off the clock. Nine seconds separate the shot and game clock, and all Dale South Prep can do 
This is your first time checking out Mercy Miller. What are you What are you thinking right now? What's going through your mind? Mercy Miller with bananas tonight. I mean, the whole game, the Kobe secret shot, step back. It was just incredible. Superman, all the rebounds. I mean, Mercy controlled the game. All the defensive moves on both ends of the court was sensational. I mean, just the fact that they were down by 10 the entire first half, and then Mercy took over in the second half. Him and Lino just went bananas. The entire team, Notre Dame, played sensation. I loved it. Well, there you have it. Shot clock unplugged. De La Salle needs a basket, down five. Three on the way. No good. And the rebound was with Notre Dame. Great defense. Great defense. I'm very confident now at this point. They're already getting ready to celebrate. Their bench is up. And it's Angelino Mark at the line. Gotcha. Five seconds left to play. Layup is good. But the clock runs out on Davis out. And Notre Dame victorious in the Postal Catholic Classic. What a great ending. That was amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys, what did you guys think about this game? How was it for you? Amazing, amazing. Mercy killed it out there. Yo. Great game. Was there everything you guys anticipated? Everything you guys expected? 40 points, 40 points. 40 points? We're here post game and guys, Mercy Miller and Notre Dame with a huge comeback victory. Wasn't looking great in the first half, but they got it done in the second half. What changed the game in the second half in your opinion? Uh, I think they just played with more effort and Mercy and the rest of the team just started showing up and uh, they got the dub, so yeah. It was the hustle plays. I heard you saying hustle plays. How about that putback dunk by Mercy? That was crazy. You know, Mercy's a hustle player, so he can get those points up on the board. Like, you know, if you miss it, he gets the ball back, puts it in the rim. And what was your highlight moment for you? Uh, for me, definitely the determination that I saw them come out with in the second half, and definitely how they just pushed to the end with all their effort and just they were able to do it. I knew they would. I knew it was also going to be a great game uh, and it was very close. Yeah. Okay, so we're here. They won. How do you yep. feel right now? Great. Mercy is him. <laughs> yep. He's the guy, right? Yep. Definitely. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Mercy Miller, the clear MVP of this game with a team high in points and he was dominant tonight especially when Notre Dame needed him the most. The MVP of today's contest. Mercy Miller, the lead scorer tonight. Let's start with the first half. Mm -hmm. Slow start for you guys. Yeah. It was the hustle plays, mm -hmm. putbacks. You had that massive putback dunk. Talk to me about that, though, yeah. right? What was the mindset for you guys defensively on, and on the glass? Yeah, it's all about resiliency. Uh, our team, we came out kind of sluggish. Uh, you know, we're an energy team, and, you know, we didn't have it in the first half, but then we came back, uh, we fought hard, and we picked it up and ultimately got the win. So that's all, you know, it took uh, today. You did a good job of getting to the free throw line today. Shot was a little bit off in the first half, mm -hmm. but that rhythm set in in yep. the second half. How much of that do you attribute to your trips to the free throw line? Yeah, definitely, uh, you know, getting in the rhythm. But uh, that was a really good team. Uh, they played really good defense. A lot of guys in the help side. Uh, so, you know, once my, I started getting my rhythm on this uh, NBA floor and stuff, just got gotten into my game, the, the shot started coming. Well, I want you to take a look at where we're standing right now. Mm -hmm. Just take this in. The Lakers logo right in front of us. You mentioned being on yeah. an NBA court right now. What does this moment mean to you right now, my friend? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, you know, it's a great opportunity we had. It was a lot of fun and uh, ready to get home, get some sleep. My last question for you, this fan support, these kids who came out, made noise all night long for you. What are your thoughts on the community and the fans who came out to support you? I mean, this is what it's all about. Uh, I mean, I love the fans. Uh, I appreciate everybody who supports me, and you know, I'm going to just keep going hard for them. Mercy, congrats on the win. Good so, luck moving forward. It. Appreciate it.
And that's going to be a wrap from Crypto.com Arena as Notre Dame victorious in the Coastal Catholic Classic.